Hey Internet, welcome to another of Microbiology Basics. In this video, we're going to take a look at the shapes of bacteria. So hello again, welcome back. In this video, I want to take a look at the shapes of bacteria. Now, if you haven't seen, I'm currently also running for District 127 out here in Texas. You can find more information down below. And the reason why I'm running is because of, well... Our current guy did something he shouldn't have been doing, and you can see the whole video down below. It's not safe for work, however. So anyways, to get to why you're here, which is what are the shapes of the bacteria? Well, there's three big shapes, and I like to think of CBS. If you know the television network, CBS, you have ABC, NBC, anyway. CBS, C, cocci, B, bacilli, and S, spirilli. So cocci, bacilli, and spirilli. Now, the cocci is berry shaped. They're spherical or ovoid in appearance, while the bacillus or the bacilli are little staffs. They're rod shaped. And the spirilli are corkscrew or have a curved appearance. So let's take a look a little bit more detail in each of these. Now, here's a quick little graphic that you can see. And we're going to use this again throughout this presentation. So again, CBS, cocci, bacilli, and spirilli. So looking first at the cocci, it's usually round. Now it can also be oval, you know, it doesn't have to be just round. It can vary a little bit, so it can be a little oval. When reproducing, the cells can remain attached to each other and they can form different types of grouping. So not only, now here's, pause for a second, not only do you have to know the shapes, you have to know the clumping, basically, that they can go into. So with cocci, you can have different types of clumping, and this will be on a test guarantee. You have the diplococci, which is pear. You have the strepsilococci, which I'm sure you've heard of strep before. So strepsilococci, which is chain-like, and again, you can see in the graphic there. And then you have the tetrad, which is a grouping of four, and it's divided in, or it's division in two planes. So you can see those pictures right there. Then you have other groupings. So for example, you have sarsina, which is a group of eight. This is divided into three planes. And then you have staphylococci, which is grape-like clusters, multiple planes. Moving to the next one, the bacilli or the bacillus. This is little staphs. These are rod-shaped and they divide in one plane. And of course we have groupings of these as well. We have the bacilli, which is just one uno bacilli. Then we have diplobacilli, which is pairs joined end to end. Then, of course, we have strep, again, which is a long chain. So get this into your head right now. Strep is chain-like. Strep is a chain, okay? So streplobacilli is a long chain, while coxylobacilli, wait, 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 you just said coxyl was a, was a shape. Now you're saying coxylobacilli, you're confusing me. Coxylobacilli is a kind of, it's a little bit between a cocci and a little bit between a bacilli. So it's kind of that shape in between the two. Then we have spirilli, and spirilli have three forms on their own. They have the spirillum, which is a rigid spiral. Then you have the spirochete, which is a flexible spiral. And then you have the vibrio, which is a rod shaped with a curve. And then of course, we have some other ones just thrown in there for fun. So we have, again, our big three. And then we have these other ones, which is the uh, pleomorphic, this means it changes its shape. It morphs into different shapes. We have the Stella, which is star shaped. And yes, that's actually the way you pronounce it. You have to do Stella. I'm just picturing people on a microbiology exam doing this. Please, if you do it, have somebody take a picture. So that's going to conclude our quick look at the shapes of bacteria. Keep in mind, once again, we have our three basic shapes, the CBS, cocci, bacilli, spirilli. Okay, so we have to have that down. There are three basic shapes, cocci, bacilli, spirilli, our CBS. Then we also have to know the groupings. So if they reproduce and they stick together, we can have groupings. Remember that strep is chain-like, while staph is more of a grape-like cluster. And then those will be some of the more confusing, confusing ones. Di, whenever you hear di, D-I, you're looking at a pair Okay, so those should get you through your exam specifically on the shape of the bacteria. So if you like the video, please, of course, click like and subscribe if you want more. We release microbiology videos every Monday. So until later, have fun studying out there and goodbye for now.